Hi, and welcome to Text, Email, and Netiquette. Preview. What is the role of text messaging in business communication? How can I write effective emails for both internal and external communication? And how can I demonstrate the appropriate use of netiquette? Tip for effective texting number one. Use common abbreviations only when appropriate. Don't succumb to the temptation to use abbreviations in context where it's inappropriate. Second, know and adapt to your recipient. Remember, as in all communication adaptation, knowing your audience is extremely important so that you can craft your message appropriately. Tip for effective texting number three, anticipate unintentional misinterpretation. Due to the brevity of text messages, misinterpretation is bound to happen. Number four, don't text and drive. The research and evidence is clear. Texting and driving is extremely dangerous. Most people text and drive because they believe that they can multitask. Brain research has definitively proven multitasking is a myth. When we do many things at once, we're doing them all very poorly. And we're not really multitasking. We're just switching our focus from one thing to the other. Email. Email needs to convey professionalism and respect. Never write or send anything that you wouldn't want read in public or in front of your boss. Tip for effective email number one. Proper salutation should demonstrate respect and avoid mix-ups in case a message is accidentally sent to the wrong recipient. Number two. Subject lines should be clear, brief, and specific. This helps the recipient understand the essence of the message. Number three, close with the signature. Make sure you identify yourself by creating a signature block that automatically contains your name and business contact information. Number four, avoid abbreviations. Just like with text messaging, abbreviations can create chaos. Remember, an email is not a text message and the audience may not appreciate your wit. Number five, be brief and omit unnecessary words. Number six, use a good format. Include line breaks between sentences or divide your message into brief paragraphs for ease of reading. A good email should get to the point and conclude in three small paragraphs or less. Tip for effective email number seven. Just like in most writing endeavors, be sure to reread, revise, and review. Be sure to catch and correct spelling and grammar mistakes before you press send. Remember, it will usually take more time and effort to undo the problems caused by a hasty, poorly written email than to get it right the first time. Number eight, reply promptly. Watch out for an emotional response. Never reply in anger. Be sure to make a habit out of replying to all emails within 24 hours, even if only to say that you will provide the requested information later. Number nine, use reply all sparingly. Do not send your reply to everyone unless your message absolutely needs to be read by the entire group. Tip for effective email number 10. Avoid using all caps. Capital letters are used on the internet to communicate emphatic emotion or yelling and are considered rude. Number 11. Test links. If you include a link, test it to make sure it is complete. Number 12, email ahead of time if you are going to attach large files to prevent exceeding the recipient's mailbox limit or triggering the spam filter. And finally, our tip for effective email number 13, give feedback or follow up. 
If you don't get a response within 24 hours, be sure to send another email or call. Spam filters may have intercepted your message, so your recipient may never have received it. This is especially important for time urgent messages. What are Virginia Shea's 10 rules for netiquette? Remember the human on the other side. Adhere to the same standards that you would follow in real life. Know where you are in cyberspace. Context is important. Respect other people's time and bandwidth. Make yourself look good. Share expert knowledge. Keep flame words under control. In other words, don't forget that when you post something, it could be there forever. Respect other people's privacy. Don't abuse your power. Be forgiven. Notice that these 10 rules take into account the golden rule of treating others as you would like to be treated. So to review, a text message is useful for informal, brief, and time-sensitive communication. The content and formatting of an email should reflect professionalism and follow the rules of netiquette. Social customs that exist in live human interaction also influence how we interact in the online environment.